Tucson is a city of astronomy. It has been for decades, and it wasn't until Tucson's population growth in the 1960s that this legacy was threatened. The invention of air conditioning allowed humans to live more comfortably in the desert, and as Tucson grew, light pollution became an issue for the astronomers and their telescopes who surround the city. Light pollution is still a major concern today. Light pollution is the uh, problem we have in astronomy where light, a light source on the ground, uh, shines up into the sky and the atmosphere scatters the light in all directions and uh, it can get bad enough that uh, you, you start having difficulty doing observations from Earth uh, due to this you know, unwanted light. It adds a, uh, a background to your observations that needs to be subtracted out and the brighter that background is uh, the worse things are, and as you notice, we don't do astronomy, unless you're a solar astronomy uh, astronomer, you don't do astronomy in the daytime, because the sun is so bright, it's washed out everything else in the sky. Um, and, uh, you know, if you get enough lights in a city, um, it does the same thing to the night sky, not as badly as the sun uh, works, but bad enough for us not to be able to uh, study uh, faint objects, and most objects in the sky are, are quite faint. You know, light pollution is an intrinsic property of just any sort of city that you're in, just, you know, just because of the fact that you're going to have street lights and whatnot. Um, so therefore, Tucson certainly is affected. Major light pollution sources in Tucson uh, vary depending upon time of night, but uh, our aged sports lighting systems typically have a lot of stray light emissions just due to the technology that, that was available at the time they were installed. Thankfully, the sports lighting you know, goes off at, at 10 or 11 to where it doesn't interfere with astronomical efforts all throughout the night, but the observatories don't wait until the sports parks turn off. So sports lighting does affect sky glow and astronomical interests. There's been a lot of attrition of old unshielded lighting systems to where the, the code has literally taken decades to, to get our lighting to a very high quality throughout the region. But there are still some legacy unshielded industrial lighting applications uh, throughout the, the vicinity that over the next, we hope, five years or so will all become fully shielded and help mitigate those uh, sky glow contributions. The color of the light affects uh, sky glow propagation, uh, with blue content being the worst, and it scatters in the atmosphere just like sunlight does, which makes our blue skies. So our, our outdoor lighting code uh, prescribes limits on blue content via a color temperature cap. So between our shielding prescriptions, our moderation of total emitted lumens and our spectral controls via color temperature. We're touching all three of the bases that the International Astronomical Union has identified. The energy code and the outdoor lighting code and its lumen caps help moderate uh, total light emissions and prevent overlighting. Like many problems on the citywide scale, voting is a really good way to prevent um, light pollution from getting out of hand and voting for ordinances that protect our night sky, voting for uh, politicians that make this part of their agenda. Keep your light from, you know, whatever light you're using from shining straight up into the sky and, uh, you know, put it where you need it. Uh, don't put it where you don't need it and is preventing you from looking at the stars. The public should care about light pollution because, um, one, it limits your access to something that's been a part of humanity since the beginning of time. Well, maybe not the beginning of time, since the beginning of, of mankind. Because, you know, 
we've evolved with the stars as like a backdrop. So I think that the fact that so many people can't even see the Milky Way is really a shame because they really are, you know, it's almost a part of our humanity is the night sky.